Hello everyone and welcome to our first edition of How to Build and today we will be building tracks of flax. This is Atari bot and we will be uh, to using two Aeroflat guns. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a ton of these white squares. It don't matter what color you use. I just use white because it's see. Anyway, and we're going to put the two guns as close as we can together on the top of this. Um, these use up a ton of CPU. So, we're going to get these out of the way. Um, we're going to put these as close as we can because they use a ton of CPU. So we can uh, focus on a small body when we get as much as we can here. Um, we're going to be going with the, the mammoth tracks, which are really huge, but they have um, a lot of, uh, they can take a lot of hits, you know. So, it, the CPU cost for those um, isn't much greater than the lower level ones. Um, it's just a matter of getting four of them that large onto the robot. And that's what we're going to be using is four of the mammoth tracks. Um, you're going to want to split your screen, of course. Um, do that by pressing M if you haven't figured that out yet. And let's see here. We want to kind of beef up this core as much as we can. Um, I don't know. To me, it's like if I have anything left in my robot, I kind of want it to be a gun. Maybe a gun and a track. You know? And so you've got to kind of think that way. Like, well, if I take damage, what, what am I okay with losing? What could I want to move around with? What would I want to have 25% of my bot to be if it gets down to 25%? Because we don't have... We used to have robots, um, pilots that have to go in here. And you had to figure out how to triangulate your blocks to where the last thing that would be destroyed would be your pilot and something he was connected to. And a lot of people made injector seats and all that good stuff. But anyway, we're going to put these big tracks on. And what we're going to do here is we're going to try to get them as close as we can together. Because again, we're trying to keep the profile of this thing. It's going to be huge. There's nothing we can really do about that at this point because of just the guns we're using. But still, we want to try to keep this as small as we can. Yeah, that's going to do it. So what we're going to do is work on how to, where else we're going to put blocks around these tracks. So that, you know, part of our tracks are also our armor. Because, like I say, they can take a lot of damage. It's okay, you don't have to cover them up with shields. You don't have to, you know... Um, armor them in blocks everywhere you know like I say the tracks themselves can take some damage and the uh, blocks attached to it will count as that damage um, to an extent but we want to uh, put blocks where it, the focus is on protecting the frame, you know, so the blocks that are going to connect to our tracks aren't going to connect to the frame so much, to the middle part, because if something gets blown off of this, then so what? There's no gun attached to this. We want to keep it as close as we can without actually linking it to the gun there. this out and I'm not sure if the fire rate's faster or not it seems like it's a little faster but this is more of a redundancy thing you know if, if your bots getting 
it gets one of its guns blown off, you still have one more gun, you know. You know, it, like I say, it's not about um, fire rate so much as it is about redundancy. You know, how much damage can we take and still be viable? It tracks. Flax have it really hard. Flax don't have it hard, but. but Flax have it really hard because they don't do much damage to the ground vehicles and the ground enemies. Ground enemies will come at you with SMPs and just rip you apart. And if you're shooting at them with these, it's almost like just hitting the back with um, the same weapon. It's like you're just shooting lasers at them. They don't do that much damage. Um, we're going to beef up this middle part a little bit here. Because the last thing we want is we don't want this to get chopped in half. We want redundant connection points so that, hey, if the blocks on this side get blown apart and all the blocks in the middle get blown apart, then at least maybe the other side's holding it together. You know, we, we want to make it difficult for them to chop this thing in half, which is probably what they're going to be tempted to do. And uh, whenever you have a chance, go with arrow rods because... <coughs> where it makes sense because arrow rods um, they have much higher health so why wouldn't you want to be able to handle more damage if, if you needed to our front end here is a little bit exposed so we're going to a lot of blocks to get to before it gets over there. So, so what we'll do is we're going to uh, block this front edge so that it cannot take straight damage. Something similar here for the rear end. But one small difference because, again, I don't want everything to be completely connected, but I do want it to be able to um, have like breakaway points. So, like I say, if they block, if they knock out all these blocks here, it will not matter. Nevertheless, I'm gonna put some some rods here. And what that'll do is give us a little more strength as far as those go. Uh, this is front end still a bit too weak for me you know and I, and I still I defined a front and a rear to the vehicle you know I could make this where it, you know the front and the rear looked identical but ideally I think you want more protection in the uh, direction of travel and the reason being is simply because if you take fire, you want to be able to uh, back away from it, and you're probably still going to be taking fire from the front into the front, unless they sneak up behind you. That's why I say don't leave the back completely vulnerable, but put most of your focus on the front end as far as where you want your protection at. You know, it, you don't want to build so that. Uh, these are kind of weak shields. We'll probably we'll come back to that. Don't count on me staying here like this. I'm just doing some thinking as I go here. But yeah, this is where the SMP protection comes in. Because we're going to want to uh, not take too many shots here to the middle. I'm telling you this is what they're going to aim for. They're going to aim for that middle. 
they're going to be... Look, I could chop it in half. But what they don't realize is that half of this robot is just as effective. So, really, if just half of this robot was to, to be running around, it would be just as almost as effective as the whole robot. Just harder to hit all of a sudden. far apart. So what we're going to do is that we're going to get rid of those and the ones on the back side. Let's put one in the middle here. Now, that's pretty well protected right there. It's, nah. This, uh, we need more shields on that middle part, that's for sure. That's the reason I didn't go switch that out for a rod there, is because I had a feeling I wanted to put shields here. Just seems like a good thing. cover a large portion. They look good on the sides too. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to work. Let's see. I don't want to... Because... Okay. just needs to be something else to be destroyed back here. You know, we're not... Just in case somebody sneaks up and they try to the shot and they, they blow something up or whatever. If it hits, it won't matter so much. Because we'll still have... Oh, let's put some box here. And then... We're still going to have a robot. They won't. You know what I don't like? It's white. I would switch it to orange. No, don't ever pick orange. It stands out like a sore thumb. Good colors go with is a gray. And as free colors go. Oh my gosh, what is going on? It's so loud. You already know what aeroflax do. 
You don't even know what they do. You don't know how effective they are. Enemy you're spotted. good at aiming them. You can really do a lot of damage with these things. Let's see, I can even... Look here. I can even put... If I break this little bottle. Enemy spotted. <laughs> Enemy spotted. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And until then... I will see you guys on the battleground.